today I get to clean out this evaporator coil because it is gross. If you care to have a gander, this ain't even the gross part. You look behind the fans and holy shit. So, come back at night, do the night job thing again. Run a hose all the way up above, out there, over, down, and into the meat department. Now yesterday when I came here, wasn't froze up or nothing, but I went ahead and closed off the hand valve. Um, so, take this cover off and we will see. I got me six cans of Viper Cleaner and a brush. Now then, once I got the fan cover off, you can really see just the true extent of how filthy this thing is. Um, you know, it could have other things wrong with it. The graph was showing that it slowly was just not able to maintain temperature. Um, so if there's something else wrong with it, fine, whatever. I'll get to that after I clean it, but got it. This has to be done first. Otherwise you misdiagnose many other things. This has, you gotta have good airflow. Just like an air conditioning system, this has to be done first. Take this out. Let's look at that shit. That's pretty nasty. So you what? Freaking pressure. That sure as hell ain't gonna work. That is some of the sorriest pressure I think I've ever seen. Yeah. Okay. Let's go find out why we ain't got no pressure. Do we got a kink? Nope, no kink up there. <laughs> Hose. I don't think we got a kink up there. No kinks. No kink. Sure looks like we got pressure there. I know that certainly ain't the result of a pressure drop somewhere. Or a pressure drop because of the length of the hose. That ain't it. No kinks over there. It's gotta have a kink somewhere. Huh. No kink. <sighs> I guess it is a pressure drop issue. Back there. It looks like the dirt on this coil is going to come right off. And uh, a chemical really isn't even required. Yeah, I can feel it. It's taking a long time to stiffen up. Pencil. The back plate from right there, the installers never took it out, Just left it in there to rust. Same for these.
It's like my drain is plugged. There we go. Ah, no more plug drain. Damn, I really need some gloves for this. This is gross. Okay, well, at least one glove. One glove is better than nothing. Oh, damn. Sometimes things get really annoying. Okay, I guess I'm no gloving it because I don't feel like going out to the truck. Maybe I can actually use this for a little bit. Yeah, sometimes the dirt on these uh, coils is like greasy face and you really got to use a chemical for them and then sometimes you get this dirty coils that are just really fantastic dirty And they just come right off. It'd be nice if I had some freaking pressure. That is ridiculous. There's got to be something up with this. I'm going to go look again. Haha, <laughs> there it is. They're running the water in the sink. Alright, let's see. They got, the sh they got the sink off now. Where did I fuck over there? Yeah, I think a little chemical will, will work here. But first, I'm going to rinse all this crap off the surface. I don't care what anybody says, I like this stuff here. It works pretty damn good, y'all. Pretty damn good. Then you can take a brush and back it up with the brush, you know, brushing it, shit works even better.
sometimes you only gotta let it sit for like five minutes, ten minutes. And it's uh it really works good against most greases or grease based dirt, slime, sludge, whatever. Get this if I wash the shit off first then you see how it's still dry like right there and that's why I like to wash it off first with water and then I spray nastiest of the nasty here on this floor. So, we'll do that one, those spots, a couple times. And this stuff isn't like the, uh, the other shit that burns your hands. This stuff don't burn your hands at all. And you don't even have to rinse it. Technically speaking, of course, you do get a better, cleaner coil if you rinse it. But in scenarios where you can't really rinse the coil, where you don't really have anywhere for the water to go, like those uh, top of the unit Mountain True T49s, those units, like those ones, you can't really, if there's somewhere where you ain't got nothing to collect water, you don't got a shop vac or nothing, you can really just Spray them and let them drip dry a little bit or use a very minimal amount of water to rinse them. And they're good. Unlike that other stuff that if you don't rinse them, it'll mess the coil up, oxidize the coil or whatever. Yeah, that don't happen with this stuff. All right, well, that's kind of the idea here. Clean the coil because It'll work a lot better looking like that all the way across.
Oh, that's gross. That certainly is gross down there. I'm going to go ahead and clean this whole thing, kind of detail it if you would. Not just the coil, but the whole freaking thing. Just look at how dirty that is. Ugh. Yeah. These things, you know, they cost so much money. It's really worth it to clean them, if you ask me. Well, I got a problem. The floor drain. It stopped up. And so, I have to stop. They need a plumber to come fix this. This is one of the reasons, a good reason why you do this at night. When the store's closed. All right, I gotta go tell the manager about this. Ain't this some bullshit. All right, so that's where that went into, guys. Appreciate you watching, and I'll follow up with the other one maybe tonight.